Right now, up and down the country, loads of photography students are about to graduate. And although that's a great thing, for a lot of students it's going to be really scary because a lot of the camera gear they were using to make their work, they're not going to have access to anymore. So I wanted to put out this video quickly because I've got some tips of um, very, very reasonable kit you can buy so you can start freelancing. And if you watch to the end, I found some cool um, discounts from some places online and a free website provider who'll also give you a free commerce bolt-on, but you've got to do those while you've still got access to your student emails. So yeah, I know I mentioned earlier uh, in the original intro to the whole video channel thing that I wasn't going to really cover kit, um, but this is like the anti-kit video, okay? I'm not talking about the latest top-end kit here, I'm talking about just enough, just enough to get people working. Because yeah, a lot of, uh, a lot of photography graduates will be from working class backgrounds, will be from poorer social economic backgrounds, and they deserve to have a fair shot at making work and freelancing as well. So here we go, here's some tips. When I graduated like 20 years ago, to just get even a Canon 20D, eight megapixel camera, the body alone I think was two and a half thousand pounds. Now the good news is, because in photography, new is always better, the camera companies have been banging out cameras constantly. Because obviously, you know, the dentist has to have that latest DSLR, right? So what that means is there's a massive second-hand market. Um, I'm going to do a bit of research on my laptop later and I'll share that with you. But basically just trying to find you some options of putting some kit together. And, and the reason is, is that I want you to have the kit so you can start freelancing and hopefully earning some money. Okay? So, number one, the DSLR. Again, you do not need the latest DSLR. Yeah, there's amazing mirrorless cameras now as well, but because they haven't, the mirrorless haven't been around for so long, even the second-hand ones are still quite pricey, check it out. I had some look on, looking online. I, I found like a 5D Mark um, III. You could probably pick one up for between three to 500 quid, and that's a great camera. I mean, in the history of photography in the 21st century, wow, a 5D Mark III, super amazing. Again, little secret, I know an amazing professional fashion photographer, just absolutely incredible, and their camera, they're still shooting, is a 5D Mark II. And I love my 5D Mark II, they're an amazing piece of kit. And because they're a fashion photographer, they're working in the studio, they're working with lights, it doesn't matter, it's not very good for quality at high ISOs, because obviously she's controlling the amount of light, so, you know, you can get, get away with quite a bit now. So anyway, my money, 5D Mark III, three to 500 quid, okay? Great. So yeah, don't go on eBay, don't buy loads of random crappy little lenses. I'll tell you right now, a really good lens for you as a freelancer, just one lens would be a really good 24mm to 70mm telephoto. That covers so much range, okay? If you're doing events, you've got a wide shot at 24. You're doing portraits, you've got, you know, 35, 50, 70 mil. If there's someone doing a, a speech or something, 70 mil, you get a bit near, that'll just be enough. So that's a very good lens to cover you for lots and lots of assignments. And again, looking around online, um, yeah, there's the 2470 um, Canon F2.8, the Mark I version, which is quite reasonable now, but it's a bit of a beast. There's also kind of the Mark II version as well for a little bit more. Um, my original 2470 I got was the Sigma 2470mm HSM, and that was also um, f2.8. And just a simple, just obviously I breeze past this, but when I say 2.8 for these telephoto lenses, that means the, the when you change the focal length, it doesn't affect your maximum widest open aperture. Okay, so it's not like you're zooming in like my crappy old lens and suddenly you're having to shoot on like f9. Um, you zoom in, it's still at f2.8. So it's 2.8 across all of the focal lengths that are available to you in that telephoto lens. But anyway, yeah, looking online, the Sigma, again, I think I found one for sale on eBay for like 250, 300. Um, again, though, eBay is a little bit of a gamble. Um, the last um, camera I bought was through uh, secondhand through MPB. And I bought a 5D Mark IV second hand, and when it arrived, it had a banging great scratch on the, the digital display on the back. And I said, hey man, I'm not happy with that, and they just sent me another, okay? So again, that's quite a good thing to do. So right now, just crunching the maths, if you picked up your Canon 5D Mark III for 300, you picked up your 2470, say Sigma for, th for 300, that's 600 quid. Now I know, I know that's a lot of money, okay? I know that's a lot of money, but yeah. It's just, that's, 
you know, you can go cheaper. You could get the 5 Mark II. Hell, you could probably pick one up on eBay for like, what, 100 quid, 150? But yeah, don't skimp on the lens. I think the lens is really going to help you. Yes, there are nifty 50s out there. Yes, you know, that's a 50 mm f1.8 for like 50, 60 quid. Um, yes, there's other things, but you're going to start just amassing lots of lenses and you're not going to really get the coverage. Uh, another great lens to get if you're really thinking about freelancing as well to offset that 2470mm would be a 70 to 200mm. And again, a very reasonable one, a very good one um, would be the Canon F4, um, which basically again means across 70 to 200mm, you can always go wide open to F4 of that lens. And if you have that set up, the DSLR body, the 2470 to 200 you've covered from 24mm to 200mm. Um, yeah. For those wanting to do some kind of lit portraiture um, or flash, speed lights, okay? Um, I shoot Canon, there's just generations and generations of speed lights, they're all pretty good. I think I'm still using my 580EX, or maybe I've got an EX2 now, but even that's quite an old one, and it's still great. It still works, it's amazing, it's powerful. Um, and when I started shooting lit portraiture on assignment, I couldn't afford like a pro photo kit or bones or whatever, so what I did, was I got this funky little Godox adapter to put my speed light into like a, a, a ring, which would then sit on top of a stand and then attach a softbox to it. And hey presto, you know, I'm shooting kind of lit portraiture. I'm getting quite a cool visual aesthetic out of it. And I'm just using the speed light I've got on my back. The one thing you're gonna need for that is some little radio triggers. I'm gonna murder the pronunciations now. Is it Young Noi? But I had these really crappy little Young Noi radio transmitters. They're not great, but man, you can buy them for next to nothing. So again, that's a good little piece of kit for you to have. And uh, yeah, final word. Um, the reason I wanted to quickly put this video out now was that MPB, I do have a student discount. But obviously if you're a graduate and you're about to not be a student anymore, you're probably not gonna get access to that discount. Um, again, I'll, I'll flash up some stuff on the screen. I can't remember off the top of my head. I think it was like 10% off if you spend up to 250 or was it more? I can't remember, but yeah, it seems like a pretty good discount. And then the final thing to say as well is that um, Cargo Collective, they kind of run websites. It's like a, a visual way of putting a website together. So you can learn it. It's a bit clunky, but you can learn it and you'll get there. And right now as a student, um, you can get that for free for a year, but you've got to sign up now. So again, you need to do these things while you've still got access to the student email. And the cool thing about the Cargo website is as a student, you not only get the website for free, they give you the commerce bolt on as well, which means you can sell stuff. So you can be selling stuff through your website as well. So anyway, only lasts for a year, but worth a shot, right? So that's my best advice to you photo graduates right now in 2023. Uh, best of luck to you.